Hey everybody, I'm filming up and down because I want to show you the pumpkins while I'm talking. The ones that the squirrels haven't gotten yet. Oh, they've been going crazy out here. Stealing everything. Oh, oh, hold on. Look, it's a black uh, butterfly of some sort. I should know what that is. Is that a swallowtail? On the butterfly bush. All right. So... Before I forgot, I wanted to just talk to you guys today about something that a friend brought up. Um, here's the girls. Hi, sweet peas. What's going on? Lenore's still laying under the bush. Um, Berenice is nearly laying solid eggs. She's so close. Uh, she's getting her shells back. But, uh... I had a friend tell me recently <clears throat> that um, the whole social media thing is getting her down and she feels like, you know, we're under attack all of the time and it's starting to get to her and stress her out and cause her undue, uh, undue, you know, all that cortisol running through you isn't any good for you. And I want to tell everybody something that uh, my, my last therapist said this uh, as an aside. She was a uh, pro tranny and I spent most of my time uh, in therapy there arguing with her about trannies. So I paid to argue because I'm an idiot. Anyway, I hope she regrets what she's done now. But uh, she did say one, more than one, to be fair. But one of the things that she said that I always thought was really smart was this. Um... The fights that we're in, these are long fights. And if you think of it like we're a phalanx of geese, right? In the V-shape flying across the sky going south for the winter or north for the summer. The same goose doesn't stay at the head of that, um, that V the whole flight. Because it's exhausting there. That's You're getting buffeted by all the winds. You're getting all the stress of the thing. So they take turns, right? And one will, it'll drop back to the back and kind of coast for a little while off of the others um, to rest up and come back to the fight fresh or back to the flight fresh. Say that five times fast. <laughs> and, um, and I always thought that was really smart. And I know that those of us who give a shit about what's going on in the world... We have a hard time turning it off because the world doesn't turn off. But um, but I've always said that social media is of the devil. The only, you know, I only go on Twitter to cast a, a stone here and there and get myself banned. Um, I wouldn't, I think it's a cesspit and I don't think any serious discourse really takes place out there. Um, uh, I think Facebook is useless and should never be used and is responsible for a lot of heartache in, the, in my country and in others, I'm sure. Um, YouTube I like, but I hardly watch, you know, yesterday I listened to what turned out to be a very stupid novel, but a lot of books on tape, a lot of that sort of thing, because I just like to um, listen to stuff while I'm working in the garden or whatever I'm doing. But, you know, there's also a lot to be said for just listening to the birds sing or the chickens clucking or whatever's going on in your area. So don't think for one second that uh, just because you're turning off means you're tuning out and that you don't care anymore. What is the number one thing I always say is the most radical thing you can do is look out for yourself because the world certainly isn't going to do that for us as women. So... What, what did they used to say in the 60s? Tune in, unplug, tune out. I don't remember. Anyway, somebody tell me. Um, but, but yeah, unplug when you need to. Don't feel like you got to listen to all my freaking <laughs> rantings. Do look after number one. That's the one thing that I want you all to take away from this. Look out for yourself and, and love yourself because the world is a hard place. And, um, we need to do that for ourselves. Everybody have a great day. Um, go out, listen to some birds sing, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.